I can stand here and you guys can see on screen. So my GoPro is there. And we're taking the shot. It's amazing. So yes guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm literally in the Tower Bridge area again and I have my GoPro Hero 11 with me. The only difference is I'm using a CPO lens. Um, so I've changed the lens from the normal GoPro and I'm gonna get some shots with it. Apparently it's got anti-glare on this lens and you can adjust the saturation while using the lens. So we're gonna test some shots out now. I'm gonna probably take a few shots from here. Um, and I'll go around this area. I'll put my Pro Tunes on screen now so you guys can see how I'm shooting. And yeah, let's do this. Should be interesting to see how this new lens on the GoPro coats. All right, let's go. So first shot I'm gonna get is literally of Tower Bridge. I don't know if you guys can see, but I am literally adjusting the lens and it's changing the saturation. But I'll get a shot from here. And I'll put that on screen now. I've got the timer on, but I might take the timer off it in a sec. So guys, one thing I do love about shooting with a GoPro, I can put my camera in places and then take the shot with my phone. So for example, I'm going to put my GoPro camera here. You might get some reflections. I can stand here and you guys can see on screen. So my GoPro is there. And we're taking the shot. It's amazing. I'm gonna get it, go a little bit closer with that just to cut out the fence. and to the side of it. Yeah, let me just adjust that a little bit more. So you guys can see what I'm seeing and I can take the shot from there. And there it is, I absolutely love that. And I'll put that on screen now. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit closer and maybe find a wet rock and see if I can do that reflection shot again using the camera and using my phone to take the shot. Mm, so I'm thinking maybe over there will look, look kind of cool. So I'm gonna place my camera here. The GoPro's there. Get a bit closer actually. Maybe in one of these rocks. If it's stable. Yeah, that's the ideal rock there. Facts. So that's there, and we're going to take the shot again with my phone. So I'll show you what's on screen now. It's not the straightest of pictures, but the rock isn't straight. But I'm going to take that shot now. I 
I'm gonna actually take another one and see if I can find a rock that's straight because I really do love that. Just wish it was straight. Yo, we got one here. That's a lot better. We've got a nice reflection there as well. So we take that shot. And I'm going to take one more handheld because I think I can get a good vantage point and a nice reflection just above the water. So just here. So what I'll do is I'll put that on screen now as well. So guys, I've set the GoPro down there again and I've got such a better angle as you can see on my phone. So I'm going to take the shot with my phone. Um, I'm just loving the reflections and just how the rocks are slightly blurred to the side. The shooting after three seconds. There we have it. So literally guys, we're literally by the Thames again. Um, Charles right in front of us, Tower Bridge is to our left, you can't see it. Um, but I'm going to go down here and get a few shots. It's very rare that the tide is this low right here. Usually the water's right up to here. So I'm going to try and take advantage of that and see what shots we can get. So the first shot I want to get is of the shard, hopefully something reflecting from the water here. Again, I'm going to put my uh, GoPro down on a rock or something and set the timer and see if we can get the shot from there. I'm just hoping it's not too muddy and I want to find a flat rock. There are these flat bollards, but there the ground is muddy and I don't really want to risk walking around with mud on me all day. So, I'm going to find closer rock. You know, I s right there, those look really, really cool. But again, it's in the mud. But I'm gonna see how close I can get. You know what, just right here would be cool. So I've set the GoPro down and got to connect back to the camera I think I might have to check yeah it's gone to night mode let's go back to photo and I'm going to show you the shot I couldn't see what it was it wasn't on screen so there we have it I actually really like that let's take another one nice what I'm one rock is doing my head in so I want to move it over just a little bit there. It's a bit better, it's a bit lopsided. lopsided. Yeah. It's still lopsided, but I'll try and sort that out in post. It's just because the ground isn't straight. Alright, so I've got the, the lens at the bottom, so I'm going to turn it around to have the lens at the top and see if that helps. Alright, one second. Alright, yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. 
really love that shot. Let's just see the goal goes there. Nice. I do want to go further down though, so I'll go a little bit further down and see what we get. So I've come further down and I am going to put the GoPro on this concrete here. Hopefully it's not muddy at all. Yeah, that's lovely. So there's a puddle right there. Actually, that is a bit slippery. But we'll try this one anyway. There's a puddle right there. Set the GoPro up as you can see. And already that's looking like a, an amazing shot. Wow. I wish the puddle was a bit wider or a bit longer. But I'll put that on screen so you can see it. Uh, go back a bit. See if there are any there's a wider puddle there let's see if that's any better the only thing there's so much mud but i guess the gopro is made for this uh, i can already tell you that's not straight Put that shot on screen now. So we're literally right by a tower bridge now, or just below it, I should say. Um, there's some cannons up there that I've got a shot of Tower Bridge from before, so I'm gonna try it again and see how it comes out. So tower bridge is square. You know, even just here with these leaves look really really cool. So let me grab a shot here. Once this lady moves out of the way. So guys, let me know what you think. It's right, no, no, thank you. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. You too, thank you. So let me know what you guys think of this lens. My fingers on the shot. Yeah. Try and get that quick before anyone goes by. Thank you. And get a little bit closer. So my finger is in the shot, but I'm gonna cut that out in in post all right so there is there are the cannons i was talking about i hope you guys can hear me so i'm going to try and shoot in between those cannons try and get tower bridge such a cool shot of tower bridge i love just the trees there as well So I might crop that in post as well. And there are people in the shop, but that's cool. All right, we'll continue walking underneath Tower Bridge and to the other side. And there's a fountain there. I'm hope, hoping that there's water in the fountain. And if there is, I'm gonna put the GoPro with this lens in the fountain um, and take the shot with the uh, phone as well. All right, let's do this. So guys, there's a fountain there. I hope you can hear me. Uh, there is music playing, so I don't wanna talk too much because of copyright reasons, but it looks like there's no water in there. Otherwise that guy wouldn't be standing in the middle of the fountain. But let's have a look anyway. Actually, there is water in there. So it looks like I have to put my GoPro in the water ah gosh it is waterproof i'm just thinking of how clean the water will be but it's a really cool reflection all right let me set this shot up now so guys as you can see my gopro is in the water there are people in the shop but we're gonna get it anyway um let me get the app out So that's it for the GoPros there in the water. Gosh.
Oh, it's not too bad. Let me get that shot. I'm going to put it back a little bit. Try and get a little bit more reflection. There we have it. I just wish they wasn't standing there, so I might wait for a little bit and then do it again. Or I might, I might move it over this side as well. As well. But I'll show you guys, that looks really cool. Apart from the people in the shop.